Um, yeah, not much, not much better than Saturday night, to be honest. Um, you know, I think it's really starting to sink in now the, the opportunity that we've missed out on. Um, and yeah, the boys, understandably, were gutted after the result, and um, will no doubt be for a, a little while yet. Is it something that you just keep playing over you, over in your head? Yeah, I, I guess you do, especially when the result is so close. It's the what ifs and your families, and those sort of um, thoughts go through your head a you know, hundred times over and boys replay mistakes that they made or things that we could have done differently but um, uh, yeah I mean, that disappointment will, will no doubt stay with us, we're going to make sure that we um, we use that to to drive us on from, from here on in. Do you have to compare it to the feeling after 06? Oh no, not at all, no it's, um, I mean 06 I mean, personally for me was uh, obviously a long time ago and really young but I guess that feeling on the weekend um, you know there was uh, yeah Genuine, sh the boys were shattered afterwards, as you can as you can imagine. So it was a uh, yeah, totally different. I think. So use this as motivation, maybe burn over the. I mean, you guys were great this year, but use as a spur to get even better from here on in. Oh, we have to. I mean, that's um, you know a huge disappointment the way that we finish off the year like that. So it's uh, you know you you can either let it uh, drag you down and I suppose um, pull you down a few levels, or you can use it to as you said drive you on and make sure that you make it count next year. So that's going to be our our main focus from here is that it's a. Uh, um, experience that we can learn from. Um, sure, it's going to hurt, and we're really disappointed with the way it turned out. But um, we've got to make sure that we're, we're better from here on in. Obviously, it hurts a waste of opportunity, but you feel your premiership window is, is just starting to really wide, open wide, wouldn't you? Oh, I guess that's the, the expectation we're going to have to manage now. I guess this year we had, uh, you know, very little expectation on us based on last year's performances, and um, this year we performed at a level that um, we knew we were capable of. Um, we had a lot of things go our way, I suppose, in terms of we had, you know limited injuries, um, you know, the boys played some outstanding footy all year and uh, you, know, you don't get given opportunities like we had on the weekend so for us to put ourselves back in a position to compete like that again is going to be a lot of hard work and uh, also a lot more, a lot of improvement because other clubs are going to do the exact same thing over pre-season and it's going to mean that, uh, as I said, we have to use that disappointment to really drive us and make sure that um, you know, we, we can try and put ourselves in a position like that again. Do you watch the grand final now or that? Oh, I think everyone watches the grand final. Um, certainly, you know, it's uh, as a player watching every year. It's um, it's tough watching players, uh, you know, get up on the dice at the end of the game and receive their medals. But yeah, I guess at the same time, you dream of that one day being you. And I guess this year's probably going to hurt more than ever because you're, you're so close. Do you find the sort of praise following that loss, you know, you took right to the minor premiers. So do you find that condescending at all? Um, no, I think we. Um, you know, Certainly very proud of the boys' efforts, um, particularly on the weekend with the, the fight that we showed and the character to, to hang in there and you know, um, everyone wrote us off as, as Sando mentioned and you know, internal belief was, was never um, you know, wavering at all. We knew that we were, we were good enough to compete and, and to win the game and I guess um, to fall five points short is, um, is where you know, it hurts so much. We really have to improve, Just take the next step. Oh, there's a lot of areas I think we have to improve. So in our defensive style of our game was improvements to do. Um, the way that we tackle, the way that we uh, still move the ball. I guess part of the game plan that we've adopted from Sando is still developing into our game. I mean, we've probably um, improved uh, at a greater rate than what we would have thought you know, at the start of the year. And we've been able to maintain a consistent level of performance, which is what we've spoken about for a long period of time now, is trying to stay consistent with um, the way that we go about our footy. And I guess that's the, a good improvement, but there's still there's still a lot of work to do and a lot of more improvement in individuals as well. What about Tipo? Do the players talk to him about trying to keep him here? Obviously, he's played so well on the weekend. Oh, obviously, there'll be conversations with the boys, uh, no doubt, throughout this week. Um, but um, no, I haven't heard any of that that talk as yet. Did you talk to him at all as, as captain? Trying to oh, yeah, I talked to him as, as captain and as a mate. Um, so we'll certainly have a have a chat at some point. And um, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be his decision. But um, it's one that will. Um, you know, know that we've done everything as a club and as teammates to, to make him uh, you know, want to stay. Will it be some small consolation if one of your boys gets a brown tonight? Oh, it'll be a, a great reward for effort for, you know, if uh, Tom or Danes are able to, to get a result tonight. I mean, there's been some other you know, players have had outstanding years too, so it's going to be tough for them. Hopefully they don't rob too many um, votes off each other, but um, you know, it'd be, a, it'd be terrific if they could, but um, we certainly know how hard it is to to get a Brownlow Brown medal. Obviously, Ruse our only Brownlow medalist, and that was a, a few years back now, so you know, all the best to them tonight. Oh, how do those two? Um, I don't know, I think Tomo. How important is Tippo to your squad? 
Yeah, look, tempo is really important, and we've always said um, you know, outline his importance to us. And I think the weekend was um, you know a good example of that. He certainly um, you know demands the the best defender, and, and when he's able to perform uh, at his best, he's um, you know, one of the best going around the competition. There's no doubt about it. Reflecting on the year, how you had this season? Right across the club, obviously 14th to fourth, but just talk about that. Yeah, um, Sando's been terrific, and um, you know he should um, take a lot of credit for the way that um, we performed this year. He's um, re-energised the group um, from day one when he came in, and you know, presented some fresh ideas, and um, I suppose portrayed to the group a real belief about where his game plan could take us. Um, and the boys really bought into that, which was um, which was really pleasing. And uh, I guess just the environment uh, that we've got at the moment and where we see ourselves um, you know, getting to in the future is, um, is really bright. I believe that's because of the coaching staff and in particular Sander. Is that something Port Adelaide need a type of coach like that to rejuvenate that? Oh, I don't know what they need, mate, to be honest. Nathan, uh, you said belief wasn't a problem for you, but what sort of platform does this year give for the future? Um, oh, it gives a, a great starting point, I think, just to know what our best looks like, what we're capable of, and then still, as I mentioned before, there's still a lot of areas that we can improve on. And um, you know, make no mistakes about it on the weekend. You know, I know we're going to get a lot of you know praise or people saying that they're proud of the way we went about our footy, but we're still um, so disappointed in the result and believe that we we could have done a lot better. So it's um, using that um, you know, fire in your guts to really um, drive you on from here. Club sending a uh, chaperone and some of the young guys over to Thailand. Is that, I guess that's just sensible. Yeah, absolutely. It's just um, I think it's smart for the club to do that. Oh, the boys, I think as an AFL player now, you have to know um, what's uh, acceptable as behaviour and what's not. I mean, it's, um, it's a no-brainer these days with the amount of media scrutiny and, um, you know, yeah, all well, that sort of thing. You just got to be careful. Beyond that, I guess it's just Last one. mates looking up at the moment. Yeah, exactly. No, it is, and the boys are on a well-earned holiday now and, um, you know, hopefully get some time to relax themselves and come back refreshed and ready to go. Um, in November.